Touchdown. <laughs> Namaste, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you may be. Across the planet, around the world. My name is Greg Prescott from in5d.com and zentasia.com. And you're looking live at Siesta Key Beach. Water looks a lot better today than it did yesterday, still has a long ways to go. It's not that brown color that we saw yesterday. The wind's blowing out of, out of the east, which is good. Water feels a little bit cooler today. Could be 82-ish. It's a big old pelican flying in. What's up, dude? Don't shit on me. <laughs> Good morning to Mike, Sean, Maureen, Didi, Sherry, Maureen, uh, Aaron, Jennifer, Carolyn, Spedlina, and Lisa. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Namaste. So the water, yeah, the water looks better today. Still dark, darker than what we're accustomed to but it's clear. That's what we're looking at for water clarity color. No dead fish on the beach, no red tide smell in the air. It's a good thing. Got a boat out there doing something, I don't know. Saw another boat out here, just parked. Might be the same boat, but I thought it was more over there. Looked like he was fishing. So one of my beach buddies on Access 12, that's down here from Pennsylvania, Kenny, and he said that he saw pelicans diving in yesterday. Saw dolphins here on Beach Access 12. And it wouldn't surprise me today if we see a dolphin, you know sometime during this broadcast. Little heads up, there is a geomagnetic storm going on from today till tomorrow, and then a second one back to back on uh, November 3rd and 4th. And if you guys have been following the Schumann Resonance, it's just been crazy the last three days. Go check out, out that... Uh, Schumann resonance chart. It's just been absolutely bizarre. Um, all the energies that are coming in. Now, on top of it, we have this uh, geomagnetic storm sending solar energy to the planet as well. So, not a cloud in the sky today. Absolutely beautiful. No chemtrails. That's always a good thing. Got low tide today at 1.59 this afternoon. High tide's not until 11.30 tonight. Expecting a high temperature of 85 today. Low of 67, and for the remainder on the 15 day forecast, it's absolutely amazing. Highs in the low 80s, low in the mid 60s. Perfect. So, yeah, I went out yesterday afternoon. I did a walk of gratitude. I tried to do at least a couple throughout the day. Um, but I came out yesterday afternoon and I noticed the watercolor started changing again, it started clearing up. Uh, from what we saw yesterday morning, and that's a good thing. That's just a boat out there. Hanging out, not sure what he's doing. 
maybe looking for minnows, maybe fishing, maybe just enjoying the day. <laughs> So I just ordered my new theme for N5D and uh, probably going to be putting that in this evening. Hopefully what I'm going to do is find time to take a nap, a long nap this afternoon and work on that tonight. Um, it's not one of those cheap $50 themes. Um, this one's expensive, but you know, in the end it's, 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 it's going to be worth it. It's, it's super fast, it's beautiful, it's something we all deserve. So um, I'm gonna be working on that this evening, tonight probably when many of you are sleeping. You know, in addition, hey, enough of me, let's look at the beach. <laughs> let's see, how do I get it back? There we go. So in addition, I've uh, built another website called Zentasia.com, Z-E-N-T-A-S-I-A, Zentasia.com. And we're picking up a lot of members, and if you want to be with a lot of high frequency, high vibration people, check it out. Join us, I'll approve you. If you're watching this, you're approved. <laughs> Got some great moderators in there too. And thank you to the to my moderators for helping me out with uh, the Zentasia Facebook group. So yeah, the water is like it's like a lake today, barely even waves. I've seen bigger lakes in Otsego Lake in Cooperstown, New York. <laughs> than what I'm looking at right now. I am seeing uh, little minnows in the water too, which is always a good sign. Just little teeny tiny ones. I'm not seeing those schools of greenies. Not yet, but we will. We're definitely heading in the right direction. Right now you're looking north toward the main beach. And then in that direction, that's Point of Rocks. Further down in that direction, you have Turtle Beach. And it's all Siesta Key Beach. They just have different names. Right now this is Crescent Beach because of the crescent, the crescent shape. So tell me how you guys are feeling with all these uh, activities going on with the Schumann Resonance and now with the geomagnetic storms coming in. What are you guys feeling? I still have that crown chakra activity going on. Um, also like a, uh, it's not quite a headache, but a pressure almost behind the pineal gland. I'm not sure what that is or how to explain it any better than that. Also, you know, the high pitch frequencies, that's still going on. That's definitely not related to a vitamin D deficiency or tinnitus, something. Because, and how I know that is what I do is, you know, being a guitarist, I'll pick up my guitar and I'll figure out exactly what note it is. And I'm trying to figure out, you know, not only what note it is, how I'm feeling when I hear these frequencies. Is it an energetic one where I'm full of energy or is it one that just makes you want to go lay down and take a nap and get downloads? So, trying to figure that out. Excuse me while I grab some water. Yummy. Yeah, with today being Halloween, 
here in the United States. I don't know about abroad, but I do know that you know a lot of people celebrate Halloween and have fun. But it's also you know make sure that your children are safe on today because a lot of people use today as a day for you know nefarious people use it as a day for sacrifice and you'll you'll see that there are a lot of abductions on Halloween and you know these sick bastards will end up performing sacrifices on these innocent children so that being said go out and have fun too you know don't live in that fear and we have an opportunity to have fun do it and this is a great opportunity um, of course I'm not going to go out <laughs> I'll be working all night and where I live we don't have trick or treaters it's all like seniors <laughs> although it would be cool if they dressed up and trick or treated When I used to live in neighborhoods where we had trick-or-treaters, I would just give them handfuls of candy. But, you know, looking back, you know, what are you really doing? Handfuls of poison. Your dentist thanks you. <laughs> oh, gosh. But you can have fun. I know some Halloween parties, you know, that I've attended in the past are a blast. So... I can't believe how calm the water is. Like a lake. So, good morning to Lisa, uh, Michelle, Kathy, Crystal, Cindy, some upstate New Yorkers, Kathy and Cindy, Amy, Pat, Marsh, Marja, Aaron, Carl, Jim Brady, another upstater. Hey guys, I'm not trying to rub it in. <laughs> Trust me, I'm here for the fish, not to be pompous or arrogant about the beautiful weather down here. Becky says we're all 55 here. <laughs> Surprisingly, I noticed that we do have a lot of younger um, people following in 5D. I think it's great. Marjorie's upstate New York. Yes, I remember all those times trick-or-treating in the snow with my Halloween costume over my winter jacket. Here's how you can tell an upstate person, a northerner in Florida. We don't have any hair around our ankles <laughs> because we're always wearing socks. You have the hair from here up, but nothing right here. And it never grows back. <laughs> so. You know, I can tell, I'll, you know, if I look at somebody's ankles, well, for men at least, and they don't have hair around there, you know that they're not from Florida. <laughs> Other telltale signs are when people use a styrofoam cooler or if they have a brand new chair, beach chair. Oh, there's a few other ones that I just notice throughout the years. The most obvious one is a lack of tan, <laughs> being tan. If your skin is alabaster white, chances are you're not from Florida. <laughs> Good morning, Tanya and Sabine and Rochelle. Namaste. Welcome to Siesta Key Beach. And for those just joining, 
Watercolor looks a lot better today. No dead fish on the beach from last night. Water temperature is starting to cool down a little. Winds are blowing from the east. Watercolor is looking much, much better. And the water is as calm as a lake. <laughs> Another New Yorker. Becky says she's from Rochester, or I'm sorry, Rochester, Michigan. I thought I thought, originally thought New York. But anyway, up north, we had many cold, snowy Halloween nights. Yes. So much for Al Gore's global warming theory. From what I understand, they had snow in upstate New York yesterday or the day before, something like that. <clears throat> it's the shell I found today. I was walking down the beach to uh, Point of Rocks, just checking out the water, doing my walk of gratitude, looking for minnows and stuff. Pretty shell with a yellow line going through it, yellow orangish line going through it. So once again, I've got our bottle of ozone alkaline water. There's a minnow right there. You see him? Just one guy, just hanging out. But we got our ozone alkaline water and we're gonna put thoughts and intentions into it. As proven by Dr. Masaru Emoto, that thoughts and intentions can change the structure of water. And that's what we plan on doing with the Gulf of Mexico. And actually the, the entire planet. I also add Ho'oponopono, the Hawaiian code for forgiveness. It creates miracles. So if you would, please join in and put as much loving healing energy from your heart center into it as possible. So, dear creator, source, universe, spirit guides, guardian angels, friends and family on both sides of the veil, galactic neighbors and friends, higher self, mother earth, I'm sorry if I don't say this as often as I should, please forgive me. Thank you for your unconditional love, safety, support, protection, and abundance in everything that's good in life, as I promise to listen with open eyes, ears, mind, and heart. More than anything, I love you. Keep focusing that love into the water and extend it out as far as you can throughout the planet, galaxy, universe, multiverse, and omniverse. Make the intention that we not only heal this water, but all water, as well as the air and food supplies on the entire planet. Just focus on love. Lots and lots of love. The strongest and most powerful energy ever. Love. So it is. Got a feeling it's gonna be a pretty crazy day today, probably tomorrow too, with the geomagnetic storms coming in. Be working most of the time. Um, so keep me posted on what's going on. 
even though I'm, I'm sure I'll be picking it up on it energetically, regardless of what I'm doing, whether I'm sleeping or working. We'll try to make it back out to the beach later on, just to get away and ground, because, you know, me being a triple Libra, I need to ground. So that's important to me. I want to thank everyone for joining me once again on behalf of all of our sea life, all of our beautiful, beautiful sea life that's currently with us and that had to die, unfortunately, because of corrupt politicians, big sugar, phosphorus mining, and sewage dumping into the Gulf of Mexico and the Atlantic. We're proving every day that thoughts and intentions can change realities. And we're seeing it live. So until the next time, once again, thank you for joining me. My name's Craig Prescott from N5D.com and my new website, Zentasia.com. Be sure to check us out on Zentasia's Facebook page. And I'll be adding you. I'll check it as soon as I get home. If you're watching this, I'll add you. Got some great moderators there. Um, and I'll be, oh yeah, the other thing was I just bought the template today, um, the new template for N5D. I'm going to be working on that on that all night, so it's going to be fast, ultra fast, and it's amazing. It's one of the most beautiful templates I've seen, um, so I'm really excited about that. Hopefully I should have it up and running by tomorrow morning, and hopefully it'll be a smooth <laughs> transition into changing over um, the templates from what I have and to what I just got, so I'm really excited about that. Lots of work on my plate. Lots of energies coming in. Schumann resonance, the geomagnetic storms. It's going to be exciting. 24 to 48 hours. Hang in there. So until the next time, I'm sending you all infinite love and light. This is Greg from N5D.com and Zentasia.com. Peace. Uh, before I go, I'm, I, I notice Aisha is saying, please elaborate on geomagnetic storms. What those are, are Earth-facing um, solar storms, basically, on the sun. And they let out these huge waves of energy. And some are Earth-directed. Most aren't, but some are. And we have two that are Earth-directed um, energy. So we're getting them probably right now and all throughout the day and today and tomorrow, as well as uh, upcoming uh, in the next few days as well, with a second one, it's kind of back to back almost. So that's what that is.